Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video I will show you how the matching part works um, from TU Delft. I'll also show you the team I have created um, and how you can create your own team. Um, I'll also show you the small, I'll explain the, the planning uh, for the rest of the matching and selection procedure and I'll also um, show how far I've gotten along with preparing for the CST test and all the hiccups I got along the way and some tips and tricks that might help you prepare for the CST and to get into the computer science and engineering bachelor at TU Delft. So first off I will uh, show you the matching platform that TU Delft uses and how it works. First off you have here your courses, your profile, you'll probably this be the first page you'll see um, after you've uh, filled in the questionnaire that you've got sent via email. And if you finish that uh, you'll go here and um, you'll see here that it, I have made a profile. You can um, put some text here to say who you are, what your hobbies are, create uh, a profile picture. You will have to put profile visibility on full profile for others to be able to see you um, and also your picture and your description. Um, where do you find these people you might ask? Well it's here. If you click on this course you'll see uh, first of all the course itself down here this is a small planning from TU Delft they'll put their announcements over here um, but it is important to not rely on here but uh, to rely on your email because they publish uh, a lot of information pr also private information via email for you for you personally on the next steps in the process so it's important to keep an eye out on your email and you have the course and the others um, not so important except the who is who here you can see other people um, you can see their profile pictures their small descriptions um, you can even send them a message via that will send a message to their email um, and with these people you can also go into a team um, as you can see I've also created a team um, if you go to browse you'll see other teams um, you can join another team find out which nationality uh, you like so for example Romanian or Javanese some Dutch also or Turkish just go wherever you uh, think you fit best um, and if there is none you can uh, always create your own team um, okay so um, you'll probably have already done the online study experience um, down here. Um, if you haven't, you're probably too late because um, it had there was a deadline on the 31st of January. Uh, noted here. Um, so the next couple of dates to keep an eye out for is um, Wednesday, the 8th of February. Um, there is a live stream from TU Delft um, explaining more about the mathematical part and the logics part. It's, it's actually a lecture. Um, you can be there on campus or on live stream. Um, I will join in on the live stream to also get more knowledge about the mathematical part and the logics part of the CST test. Then there is also a trial run on proctoring. Um, this is also important, they advise everyone to do this, even if you are there on campus itself, because they also show the system uh, that they use to take the, the test itself. So it's handy to get used to the system, and it, so that it isn't the first time that you see it when you have to take the test. Um, the proctoring uh, guidelines and everything is uh, standing here. Um, one of the handy things is maybe if you look at the requirements to do an internet speed test um, and to also see if your software is correct um, you can easily do this here there's a system check you'll go to a website where they do uh, all of the tests automatically 
um, to test your microphone, your camera, um, and if that cam comes out correctly, you don't have to worry about it. Okay. So then, after proctoring, there is uh, of course the test itself, um, which is the next important date. Um, maybe if if you do it on campus, it will be the 18th of February. And if you do it online, it will be somewhere between, I think, 10 o'clock and like 11 o'clock in, in the evening um, on the, the day that you've chosen. And then on the 15th of April, we'll get the ranking number. Uh, you have to accept it in two weeks. If you don't, um, your spot is given up and you can't join anymore. Um, so that's basically all the deadlines given by TU Delft summarized in their announcement here. So I'll quickly show you my progress that I've made um, while studying. Um, I've primarily put the focus on the mathematical part uh, for now and um, next week I will start in the logic part um, which is um, well equally if, if not even more important than mathematics because um, the CST tests consist of three parts uh, the first is mathematics, which um, counts for 30%. Then you have logic and reasoning, which is 35%. And then algorithms and computational thinking, which is for both are 35%. Um, so they are actually more important than mathematics. Um, but the mathematics part uh, you can learn for, and the logics and reasoning you can learn for. Um, and they will both also be discussed in the online lecture from TU Delft on the 8th of February I believe um, so well I've finished all the theory um, it doesn't say I've done everything but that's true um, I've not finished the training sequence and the homework for all of the weeks um, because I want to uh, revise them uh, like a couple of days before the actual test um, what I've learned from doing this is that um, the first two weeks are pretty doable, they are pretty easy. Then week three and four are also doable, um, mainly because of already existing knowledge from high school. Um, differentiation integration here, it gets a little bit more tricky. Um, they use more complicated theory, um, so if you're going to make this, expect more time um, to complete differentiation integration and to fully understand and comprehend everything and geometry is by far the most uh, difficult in my opinion so really take your time for these last ones and don't uh, don't go off of the expectations from the time that it took to do week 1 and 2 because they are a lot easier so as a last remark on the pre-university calculus course, um, the course notes, they are very handy if you start revising everything and um, if you don't understand things from the, from the explanation on the videos and you rather have just a, a summarized text, well it's in the course notes, um, the, just learn these um, in preparation of CST, if there are things in here that you don't understand try to really understand them um, if you don't ask your maybe your parents or uh, a high school math teacher um, and if those are not available if you don't want to ask them you can also uh, go to an online forum like math forums and you can ask your question there um, how to use math forums i've shown in my previous video in tips and tricks so i would recommend watching that um, if you want to use map forums to ask the questions um, per week the notes are summarized um, it's very uh, very clear everything so I'd really advise you to look through everything and see if you understand everything before you do the CST test itself so for the next uh, week and a half I'll mainly be focusing on the logics part the logic and reasoning preparing for that going through the textbook that TU Delft provides um, that is online in the brochure and that I've also shown in my previous videos 
Um, on top of that, I'll also be pre uh, focusing on this lecture on the, uh, the 8th of February, also covering um, the logic and reasoning part, but also mathematics. Um, if you'll also be planning to join this, um, I'd recommend you to look here um, under the CST preparation lecture. Um, here they say more specifics on the live stream, uh, the dates, the time, everything. Um, and they also have homework exercises that they'll discuss during the lecture. Um, so I'd advise you also to do these homework exercises so you can really take full advantage of the lecture. Um, and you don't have to play catch up in the during the lecture itself. So, well, that will be the planning for the next week and a half, the, this lecture and the logics part. So, thanks for watching my video, I hope you learned something from it, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!